When starting new horn players, I prefer to have them start standing, specifically due to the fact that there's a tendency of allowing the entire body to collapse down as they play. Um, obviously, once they start performing, they are seated most of the time, but by having them stand to set it up initially, um, it helps set up positive habits that they're going to move forward. So first things first um, is to take the left hand and position it as a C. For right now, have them just position their right hand underneath the bell, um, supporting it. So that C fits right in to um, our finger hook here, which is going to support some of the weight of the instrument, and then rotor one, two, and three. Number one is closest to our mouthpiece, three is closest to our finger key. If you have double horns, that double horn key is uh, right on the back, and that is for your thumb. But you'll notice that as I play, my wrist stays relatively open. Um, we want to make sure that we don't create new angles in our plane. This creates issues of tendonitis and carpal tunnel. By keeping that open and relaxed, um, it allows us to use just our fingertips on our, the paddles of our rotors, and it keeps it nice and clean, and we can move everything around. So a fair amount of the weight of the instrument is sustained on the inside of the thumb, on the left hand, and on the pinky. The right hand then also serves the purpose to support that sound. I want you to imagine that you're um, holding um, water, or trying to scoop water, and the shape that you need your hand in. That is roughly the shape that you need um, for the hand in the bell of the horn. So as you bring the, the horn up, you're going to position the hand on the outside, furthest away from you, um, of the bell. That position is going to, again, vary a little bit by person uh, and body size, but the idea being that is that the weight of the horn is going to primarily rest, rest on the uh, upper joints of your first finger, of your index finger, and on the inside of your thumb. So as I play, my horn positioning um, stays pretty, let me see if I can position that right for you, stays open so that, that you can get the air, essentially the air can continue through. My hand is an extension of the bell. So as I bring it up, all the weight of the horn is sustained on, again, the two fingers on my right hand and on the thumb and inside, of, or inside my thumb and the pinky on the left hand. You'll notice that as I stand with the horn, uh, the bell goes past me um, into the wall behind me. We want to make sure that we're not playing into ourselves. We create a natural mute then. We also want to make sure that we're not holding the horn way up high, creating tension in our shoulders, which makes it hard to breathe, and also just introduces tension into the entire equation. So every player is going to be a little bit different. Uh, so if we set that posture up before they are seated, it keeps students from having the tendency of relying on their lap to set, um, set where they're going to position it. One important thing to remember is that we always set our posture first. So we want shoulders lined up over the hips, we have the head in place, and then we bring the horn to that position. Once we've established proper horn posture standing up, we want to make sure that we have the students then sit. Um, a couple of tendencies that um, young players will particularly have with their instruments. The first is allowing the leg to be the spot that supports the weight. You'll oftentimes see them then just drop their hand off to the side. And this poses two problems. One, um, the horn relies on the right hand to be in the bell and in position um, to be able to get the proper timbre and proper pitch. The instruments are pitched with the presumption that your hand is there to alter pitch. Um, but second, um, by setting on the leg, this develops bad habits um, that impact posture. By having it on the leg, the student typically will have it in position and then lean forward to get to that mouthpiece, which now has created a posture in my back, which is not straight. It's reduced my lung capacity. I'm hunched over, um, and I'm creating pot potentially er potential ergonomic problems for myself as well. So I want to make sure that as I play, I'm supporting the weight again um, with the inside of my first finger and my thumb, um, and resting up against the base of my thumb on my left hand to be able to have that position there. Typically, the instruments can be slightly away from my body, but again, this varies a little bit by person. The larger the person, the further that may be away. But that way, I can bring the instrument to me with posture set, and I'm set to play. Um.